Hey guys, Travis Gillespie here. And let's take a look at a scenario. You know, it turns out that when you have a relationship, you can sort of think about, about it visually. And that's the power of mathematical thinking, is that you can take something that doesn't really seem that visual and actually turn it into a visual representation. And we're going to do that with some graphs here. Let's take a look at the following scenario. The air temperature was constant for several hours at the beginning of the day and then rose steadily for several hours. It stayed the same temperature for most of the day before dropping sharply at sundown. Well, guys, there's a lot of words in this in this problem and I really don't know what to do from there. Uh, one of the steps or skills is to parse a problem. Parsing is to break it up. Um, but first off, there's more information to this problem than what I've given you. And the problem says, hey, there are three ga graphs that we're going to give you, and you tell us which graph best represents this problem. So I'm going to recreate this graph here. I'll just copy it a couple times. Move it down into place. Again, move it down into place. Now I've got my three graphs, and now the three possibilities that they're giving me, they're saying, hey, this is going to be graph A, graph B, it's supposed to be A, D, and graph C, obviously. And along the sides here, we're dealing with temperature, so I'm just going to write temp for short. And this is going to be time along the x-axis here. And the three possibilities they say is, hey, I'm just going to draw these up real quick. And they want you to represent or choose the graph that best represents what the sentence is saying. Well, there are two steps to solving this problem. Let's change the color here. And step one says, hey, read the graphs from left to right with as time to show that time is passing. So read left to right to show time passing. And then the second step says to actually find keywords uh, or list keywords and decide which graph shows them. Okay, and this is step one here. Alrighty, so let's look at these. We're going to read these from left to right as time marches on, and we're going to pick out keywords from our actual, um, the actual uh, problem from the very beginning. So the first thing that you know is that the air temperature, it was constant. Well, we can already cross out make sure that my colors are nice and fresh and new here can already cross out graph C. Graph C is not going to work because it does not start out constant it starts out rising rapidly. The only two graphs that start out constant are graph A and graph B. The second keyword, I'm going to underline constant by the way, the second keyword here is that 
Uh, then the temperature rose steadily. I'm going to go ahead and underline it. Rose steadily for several hours. So again, graphs A and graphs B show the temperature rising steadily. It stayed the same temperature for most of the day. So as time marched on or passed on, um, it stayed the same. And now we're getting to a point, and it stayed the same, not for a little bit, for most of the day. For most of the day, before dropping off sharply. So the next key words are, it stayed the same. Well, graph B really stayed the same, mainly, and then it dropped sharply near the end of the day at sundown. So graph B best represents this problem.